There guys, I'm Diggity Dog from Diggity Dog Gaming. Um, I just wanted to bring you guys a quick tutorial on how to make your um, audio levels in your videos and intros to match, or not to match, um, to level so that you're not blowing people's eardrums out. So let's get into it. Um, we got right here a video on the, uh, the, the Freedom Community Forums. Um, and it is a video that is in the critique section, uh, video critique section, that um, people are asking to critique. Um, so I took a look at this and just, just, just listen. I'm gonna turn this halfway down because it does get. Loud. Actually, no. I'll, I'll have it all the way up so you guys can understand. Screw you! Screw you! Screw you! Screw you! Screw you! Screw you! Yep. Yeah. Crap. All right, so as you saw there, I had it all the way up, and then I had to turn it down immediately. It wasn't to the point where it's going to blow my eardrums, but it will definitely startle me if I'm watching the video not expecting that to happen. So, at, let's look a little bit further into the video, and notice the background music and, and the, qual the level of his voice. He does have a, good qual a decent quality mic, um, but just check the levels of his voice to the music. Guys, what's up? It is Dun Diamonds here, and I'm doing a mod review on not many items. Too many. It's it's a little hard to pay attention to him when the music is slightly louder than it, or maybe maybe not exactly louder than his voice, but close to it. Now, in in the video, there's another section where the music gets louder than him, and you can't even understand him. Let's try to hear this. And also, yeah, that's basically it. And right in there, where I mean, you can still hear as it, too many, but it's the point where it's kind of getting up there, and especially those high sounds. Items has you can save it. Like let's say I will have. So um, I will in the, in this video, I will be showing you how to correct some of these mistakes. Um, let's go ahead and switch over to Adobe Perm. The all right. I'm using Adobe Premiere Pro. Um, I pay $21.21 a month for this software, um, but you can also buy the software uh, CS6 um, for, I think, $300. But, sorry about that, uh, there are some free um, video editors that do have what we are looking for right now. What we are looking for is this audio um, decibel meter. Um, I, I think. I just want to guess because there's programs out there for everything. I want to say there you could buy, not buy, but find a free decibel meter, uh, like a system decibel meter that will measure the audio of the the the, the audio going through your system sound. Anyways, so what we need is this this uh, this audio decibel meter right here. Now, um, if you notice, my main audio sits are between negative 12 and negative 6 decibels. Um, and so that is good because it's not to the point where it's distorting or it gets into the red, but it's also not overbearing. So take a listen. Average was not really. Sorry, I was just joking. Um, guys, as you probably know by the title, I'm doing a giveaway. So, so as you can see, it never goes really. Uh, it goes a little bit below, but it never really goes above the negative six, which is what we're looking for. Now, if you if you just look right in here, I'll go ahead and zoom in. Um, we got me a, a little snippet of me, and then we got a snippet of my intro. Now, if you listen to the intro, it's not blaring. Just go ahead and take a listen. What is up, my YouTube people? See, let's go ahead and take a look at the decibel meter. Take a look at it the entire time right now. So I'll go ahead and play it. Just take a look right here, people. <laughs> never really goes over that now even if I was to raise the the audio of it to like something more normal it's not gonna be to the point where it's like oh my gosh I just blew my eardrums I need to throw my my headphones off my ears or to the point where you're gonna be like I'm sorry librarian I did not know that was gonna be that loud um, thinking you're in a high school or something <laughs> um, but anyways uh, just go ahead and take a listen um, now it is louder, and like I said, if you were in a library and your speakers for some reason weren't open, people are going to hear it. 
but it's going to be a gradual instead of an instant like, oh my gosh, I can hear it and I'm blowing my eardrums. Go ahead and take a listen. <laughs> now, with it louder, it is, it is going higher up in here. It was going to the orange, if you want to rewind the video and take a look at it. Um, it was going in the orangish to the reddish area, and we don't want that. Like I said earlier, red goes into distortion, meaning um, your, your audio will then sound dequalitized. Even if you were using the best audio mic on the planet, if it distorts, it will sound like poop. And when I mean poop, I mean poop. Um, anyways, so that's a way to fix um, your audio, for your your intro to your to your to your video. You want to try to keep the same audio level here to both intro and audio peaking. Um, now, if you yell in a video, you might want to go ahead and just cut that out and then bring the audio down a little more. And if you have Adobe Premiere Pro like I do, you can use a constant gain effect or a constant power effect. Uh, that one's a little too long for this, uh, uh, that's too short for this kind of uh, teaching. But, um, control Z, alright, um, but um, that will kind of give you the idea that you can cut an area and then lower the audio. So I'm using shortcuts here. And you can lower the audio to then sound not as loud. I'm doing a giveaway. Or you can make it sound louder. So, title. I'm doing a giveaway. Um, but anyways, that's some stuff. Um, now, with the audio, um, with your mic, if, you, if you're talking and you got um, music in the background, this is an end card. I'm pretty sure some of you guys have one. Some of you have at least seen one. But end cards are good because you can give a, a spiel or a speech that was not a part of your video. I like to record mine with Adobe Audition um, and then put them in here. So I will, I will then start the music at a good somewhat loud level before I go into my end card. So here, just take a listen. Yeah, I will see you guys later. Um, hey guys, and then it goes, and then it goes into the um, the end card. But if you notice, when it goes into the end card, the music fades down, so it's not overpowering my voice. Listen, for watching, be sure to check out the uh, the video on the left. That is the uh, the infinite. So you can hear the music, but it's not overpowering my voice. You can still understand everything I'm saying, even though you got that constant doom 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 in the background so it's kind of a nice effect but it's not overpowering me or saying hey I rather have you listen to the music than my voice because I'm I'm not cool no um, but anyways um, another another thing in here constant gain you can just put it right there make it louder softer but constant gain is, is different than an exponential fade an exponential fade goes com from complete zero or infinite gain because technically zero is loud and infinite is quiet. If you go to a negative infinite gain to the gain that the uh, that the audio is at, then it will um, then it will go from zero to whatever you know, and then up. But a, a constant power, a constant gain. I'm not sure what the difference between constant power and constant gain is. But if you go with a constant gain, it will then here. Let me go ahead and delete this. It will go from where it just drops completely off the radar to a, a point where it's not going to go to zero or negative negative infinity but it will go to a point where it's the, the current gain and then it will slowly drop down to the um, the next gain of that audio clip so give it a listen hey guys thanks for watching be sure to check and it drops down so that's that's a slight little audio tutorial. Um, if you guys have any ideas of a um, of a free um, video editor that has these this decibel meter or a software that can monitor your decibel meter or your decibel coming your decibels coming out of your system, so like a, a, an outside program that is is monitoring 
how loud the noise coming out of your computer is. Um, if you can find one of those, that would be perfect. Um, other than that, I would suggest to find one to help you um, with these videos. Um, so as always, get, you know, give comments down below for anything you guys want. And remember to like, subscribe, comments please. Uh, I'm Diggity Dog from Diggity Dog Gaming, and I just wanted to help you guys out with your audio. So I will see you guys later. Did you know that there was a secret plot to overthrow the teddy bear? That and more in today's episode. Collaboration videos on YouTube can help you grow. That and more in today's episode.